Hi guys, it's me Karen, and I've come to do a uh, color in this book here. Autumn Magic, Grayscale Coloring Book, Autumn Fairies, Witches, and More by Molly Harrison. And it's got some really pretty pictures in it, and I thought I would uh, attempt to do this one here. And I'm going to attempt to do it <coughs> with markers. Okay, the markers I got. And like I have previously said, I've never used these before. <laughs> Only for the fact that uh, I received them as a gift. I'm going to go ahead and try. And if this fails, it fails. And you get to watch while it does it. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting in a piece of uh, watercolor paper here behind the sheet. And then there we go. Now I've used, yeah, no, you can see this is my scratch piece of paper. I used these colors here and I wrote them down. And I did a little circle kind of like um, a face. And I used all of these colors here. And I know it doesn't look like much, but that's these colors here. And the darkest color is um, Y. 934 and then there's the next shade that I picked is Y611 and then there's a pinky tinted one here that's R101 and then this kind of confused me but I mean markers are going to confuse me anyway I would think that the number R000 would be a lighter color than R100 but it's the other way around, so <laughs> R000 is actually a darker color than this one. So somehow I'm going to get these on the paper and hopefully it will work. Now I picked the um, dark color because I'm in a grayscale book and I wanted um, the darkest color to uh, be in the shadows and hopefully that'll touch the gray up. And I'm going to have to get you probably down a little further here to her face so you can see me color it. If I can get the lid off of this thing. Okay, so we're going to start here in the dark area and under her hat. And that, that, that's as much as I'm going to color before I go to the next one because I am not sure how this will blend. This is the next color. And I will use it to go down this side of her face. And down here under her chin. And then I will use the pinky shade, which is the R101 color. I'm going to put that down. And probably a little here. Okay, then we will go with the Zero, 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 one. Yeah, the little tip, not the big tip, because I don't want to mess with that. I'm just kind of um, doing what everybody else does that I've watched, and you go over the last color that you used. And blend it in. And oh boy, doesn't she look lovely? <laughs> and this is the last shade, which is the uh, 100.
and then we will just let that dry. And hopefully she doesn't look as bad as she looks on camera, huh? <laughs> okay, well, I don't know how long it takes to dry, but that is kind of what I'm stuck with. Uh, probably make her nice and dark. Um, her hat is going to probably be blues and purples, and her dress is probably going to start off as one color and then go down into another. And then I have this wonderful tree, this cute little cat, the candles and all this to go through. And I just don't want to make this a hot mess. <laughs> my problem. Okay, I have some blues here. 205, 204, and 203. You would think that they would go lightest to darkest, I'm assuming. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put um, it on her top here. Maybe if I add some more color, she won't look so, I don't know, dark. I better check these out to make sure I got them in the right order before I put it down. Okay, yeah. So the darkest here is going to put me along the top of her top here and probably there and before it does anything strange. I will go in with the second color, which is quite close, but lighter by a bit. <laughs> and then the final one. Oh, markers. Just pick up pencils. Okay. I'm going to put it up here in the top two. This is the lightest color. So we'll add some interest there. And that's her hair. Okay, I know the back of her dress here should probably have a darker into it, so I'll go ahead and add that in. And I've watched people do this both ways. Um, light to dark, dark to light. So I'm not sure which way you're actually supposed to use it. So she has a blue top. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> and I think I will um, put some blue in her hat up here too. So we will go with the, uh, I could put it in the ribbon here. Why not? The dark. In the dark areas. And the medium. You know, I'm going over the line. I'm just going to go with it. And then the lightest. Meanwhile, in here, we go to her eyes. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> and 
shut up, blue eyes. And maybe we'll go down her skirt a little bit here too, since. This is the darker shade. Kind of taking it just in the shadows. Okay, second color. Okay, then lightest. Trying to neck to get it in her hair. <laughs> But then again, why not? I'm not exactly sure what this is here. If it's her hair or if it's a belt or, or what. Okay, and I'm gonna let that dry and see what it does. Okay, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep coloring and find out how she um, turns out here. So I'm gonna do a little more of the bottom of her skirt. What I'd like it to do is fade into purple, so I'll just go ahead and color it kind of the same way I was doing up here, and then. If nothing else, I'll just add some distress purple in here and bring it up. <laughs> Not that I'm giving up on this, but <clears throat> it's interesting. I'm going to go with just the two tones, the um, leaving the darker one out when I go down here and see if that'll brighten up the skirt a little bit. So this one is the uh, B204 which is kind of the medium color. And I'm gonna go in the darker spots with that. Light blue.
up here with the medium color while it's wet. Darken it up in the areas. I'm trying to shade in. Hmm, that's always good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and maybe I will bring in a little of the dark and just to uh, maybe it's better if I do it backwards away. Bring in the dark. trying. <laughs> I'm coloring it. I don't even know if it's in frame. So I'll back this down a little bit more and just add a little bit to the I think that was the lightest blue. Yep. Okay, that's kind of what that's going to look like. I think I will add some of this into her um, gloves, too. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the, um, this is the lightest blue. And we'll just color in her gloves. them a bluish tint. And the detail going up her arm.
Listen. Maybe she'll just be blue. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do her hat in purple. Cross our fingers. <laughs> R 706 which is a I think it's this one let me double check no that's the wrong one I want to do it in the darker bluish purple which is R 807 and then highlighting it with R 702 which is a very pale color so I don't want that end. Oh. Go ahead and put it in this really dark purple. Put in the light purple in here, which is really light. And we'll see what that does. And then I'm going to just put it in up here. Put the purple in up there. Yes, it's really dark. No idea if these are going to blend or not. And basically, if they don't, I do have a colored pencil. Well, we'll find out when I dress. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. I could probably add a little blue in there. I don't know if that'll help. I do have to fix my bow here anyway. Oh, I'll just, just let that dry and see what it does. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just going to get out, if I can find my Distress Ink, that is purple. It's kind of that color, and we will see if we can't um, fix this little mess that's going up here. So it's Dusty Concord, and I need a... A little 
stick here. And what color goes with purple? Uh -huh, let's see. I have a red on this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash it off. So it's just a little water. That's all you need to wash these off with. Distress inks are water-based, so they react with water. And then all I have to do is make sure it's not too wet there. And we're just going to throw a little of this in here. Okay, and while we've got it here, we're going to um, put some down here in the bottom of our skirt and bring it up. Just to add some of her hat color down here. I'm just kind of going where it's the darkest and then bringing it over to the lighter area. And I'll go over this a few times, bring in more purple. more comfortable with my ink this way. around her waist. I'm going up. And maybe a little inner gloves too up here at the top. kind of added in the touch I wanted. I might go over it and get it a little darker a little later. I'm not all that happy with that hat, but a white gel pen might help that out. Okay. Um, after the tree. <laughs> I so just want to go to my inks. Um, I have brown. I assume it's brown. Let me get another piece of um, cardstock out here. I, don't know. I need a new piece. I don't know if I have any in my printer. Just trying to get out. We have in here. Will that work? Let's not. 
cards stuff. This watercolor paper. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> vellum. Um, oh, heck, this will work. Let's use the back of that. Okay. And let's see what these browns look like. So this is uh, R976. And that is brown, isn't it? That is dark brown. And this is 648. That's a neat brown. And then I need like a light. I don't know where I'm going here. Those aren't bad. It's going to be an awful dark tree. Um, kind of want a, ooh, a little more yellowy color. To go in. Uh, might work. Last night that I used this one. Let's see what this one does. Ooh, that might work better. Yeah, okay, we're gonna try these. <laughs> okay, so the um, going from the yellow to the tans, that's four one six four two three. Eight, two, three, six, four, eight, and nine, seven, six. Base coat is going to be the last one I brought out. And I think I'm going to go big on this one. Um, I'll just kind of lay some of this down. Something in that line. And we'll go with the next color. Kind of under the cap. Okay, next color. Darker area under the kitty. Probably go down in here too. So her scarf is covering most of that. Okay. And the reddish color. Okay, 
Okay, then I'll over it with the lightest color I have, which was, who knows? You probably know. I might have been thinking I might go in with one of these colors. This is a nice light color. And just kind of meld everything together. This is one of the colors I was using for her skin. It's the R000 whatever. <laughs> oh, this is one messed up video. Sorry, people. <laughs> I've never used these before. So basically, you're kind of learning with me because I really got no clue. I looked and I couldn't find a whole bunch of videos with these markers, but maybe I was looking in the wrong spot. I don't know. Okay. That's a weird looking tree to begin with. Now what I have uh, heard also is you can take your colorless blender wherever I put that. And down here where I want it lighter, you just go over it. Taking off the ink And it'll leave you with a lighter version there. So I'm just kind of trying to get her transparency of her scarf back there. We will see if that works. Okay, I want that tree just a little darker. So I'm going to bring in some of this color. I know I'm not upset that I'm going out of the lines because I can always bring in a marker and redo those lines. Kind of like that. So there we got a tree. Good one, I've got hair to do too. Ah. And I have a candle. Yeah. <laughs> a candle. I don't know. That's kind of dark. I want a lighter, brighter color. There's kind of a lighter, brighter color. Do something in that, and then blender. that does. I don't know what color the candle should be. Oh, these markers are going to kill my hands. I'm going to make it blue. Blue, white, gray. Gray is a good color. Maybe. <laughs> That's dark gray. I want a lighter gray. I'll try, try this one. So I should need a darker candle. Now, her hair. Oh, I could do green. I say that like I know what I'm doing. We can do green. I've got shades of green. Um, these are kind 
real pretty. Let's see about these. That's a green with a little bit of green. Those kind of go together. Do we like the green in the color? Look out with our eyes. Green, purple, they all go together. So we will just go with the um, a lighter green first. Oh, it looks to me like I missed her ear here. Uh, yeah. Not a nice sound. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. Okay. Let's get some darker green in there. Prong side. It's not turning out too bad. <laughs> Just gonna go around all the little curlies in her hair. She's got a lot of them. Okay. And we'll just add in some more of the uh, light up here at the top. And I'll just keep working on that. It's quite a lot of hair. And maybe add in some other colors in that. I have a little black kitty over here. And I know I had some gray out earlier that I did the candle in, which was too dark. So I probably want to go a little lighter on the kitty. So we'll try this one. 
Um, it's a warm green 05, I believe. And we'll just fuzz them up a little here. And the tail. No idea what color this will dry as. <clears throat> but we've darkened him up a little bit. And then I'll add a little, um, in the blender and just kind of touch it here. Soften that edge a little. See how that does. Let me see if I can't get this hat a little more um, textured. And what I understood is you could take this, and there is a star here. And I'm going to try to get the star back and then put in a few dots up here. And you just lay it down on there, and then after it dries, it wicks up your coloring or your inking or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put a couple of dots on this side too. And then you can go over it again and pick up more. It's kind of like what I did down here was, so there's a little brown, sorry about that. There's a little brown in this little moon and here and then we'll put a dot here and a dot here and just continue it until you bring it up. And then I thought I'd add the, um, little lines in there too so we'll see it seems to be doing what they say it does and it blurred um, the fur of the cat in a bit which is what I wanted and I like him that color so those are little things that I'm going to work on with this now the background I said I was going to do that in distress inks and I will probably um, do the moon in a yellow and then the background just in um, sp colors, spooky colors. I don't, <laughs> I haven't gone that far. And then I'm going to highlight um, like her eyes and probably put her lips in with a um, fine liner because those are kind of big tips. And I have to do something with this arm because it's kind of blending in. So uh, with the white Posca pen, I will probably come in and do some detailing on that. So I will go ahead and get out some Distress inks and I'll do the background. Okay, so the moon up here. It's going to be a little tricky. So I'm going to start it with Squeezed Lemon Distress Tool. And as always... Um, only dipping it in, I don't know if you can see, try to get it like this, and that will be the corner that I'm using to go around the, um, bright orange or yellow moon here. So I just go around the edge where it's darkest and then bring the yellow in. And I hit her hair, but that's okay. Yellow and green coexist nicely. So does yellow and blue. And brown. <laughs> okay. Try to go around her hat. And just kind of give it a... 
yellow hue here. So their candle turned out pretty cool. I like that. Okay, we're going to leave it kind of white there. And that's with the squeezed lemonade. And put a little more glow over here. Okay. Now, the rest of the... Um, Oh, well, I could do those little moons down here. Yeah, I'll just leave them. The rest of this, I'm just going to be uh, using. I gotta open these. Here we go. The um, spiced marmalade. This is a different yellow, which is your mustard seed. It's darker. Um, a little pink might be good, and a little bit of the blue. So this picked raspberry and peacock feathers. They all have their little pads down here in the bottom, so I will just be popping that on there, and then again, the same way, putting ink in the corner, and this is going to be more of um, dabbing, so just kind of pouncing it on there in certain spots to give some color. This paper is um, toothy and trying to rub it around isn't as easy and it goes in better when you're pouncing. You put some kind of uh, stripage in here to make it look like a hazy cloud and then just pounce it up. And we'll go out here and do the same thing. And then one over here by the kitty. Like that. And we're going to do that with all the colors. So we just take the orange one off and stick it back in there. And then we'll go in with some of the blue. Same thing. We will pounce and bring it across. Let's try to get blue up here. What this basically is doing is just bringing in the colors that you have down in the outfit into the sky. I'm just going to drag out a little of that in this shiny scarf, give it a blue effect, and then some pouncing down here. Then I'll get some of the pink, because why not? Pink will go with the purple. And add some of that in. So there we go. Add some of that darker yellow, the mustard seed, in the moon up here. have left is to um, do her detailing. 
And then we'll just take a vinyl lining pen that I have. And I'll just go over some areas I can with her arm. I have to figure that out. But I will just go in with the Posca pen and add some details in here. So I will go ahead and do that. And just uh, start with her thumb here. Do something in that line. Get that mount a little shinier too. And also add a, a little bit of that on her belt down here. She's got um, flowers and stuff up here too, or stars, so we can add a star in here. And a star over here. It looks more like circle. <laughs> doesn't look that bright when I'm looking at it, so <laughs> I'm going to add a little candle drippage here. And then I'll just keep adding uh, little doodads and then I will, like I said, cover up her eyes and stuff. So I'll show you the finished picture when I get back and then we will just have the one part video.